So then, just as a little breather, we're going to look at how we can make these test uh, methods a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to read. And this is just how I prefer to do things. So at the moment, uh, we know that we have to prefix all of our tests with the keyword test. Makes sense. So uh, we know that it's a test. And of course, what you can do within tests, if you wanted to, is create an entirely different method. So you could create something like get user model, and you could call that from within any of your tests. So it just works like a normal class. Now we're going to look in the next part at how we can use the setup method within PHP unit to new up a U user for us before we call each test. But for now, we're really just concerned about the way that these look and about the way that they, these actually read. Now we know that for each test, this should very nicely describe how uh, or what's going on in this particular test. So in this case, then wouldn't it be much nicer if we could say something like that, we can get the first name like so to me because it's uh, un separated by underscores it just looks a lot nicer i can read this a lot better than i can any of these other methods so this is all well and good but this test won't actually be run now we can prove this by killing the page here and just outputting anything and going ahead and running our tests once again and you can see here that uh, this confidently we know now has not been run now that's because we haven't prefixed it with test. Now what we could do is prefix this with test, but I find it a lot easier to create a doc block for this. So what I can do here is I can say uh, and test or uh, at sign, sorry, test, and that is it. Now that we've done this, this will actually be included in our test. So we can define lots of different things out within doc blocks before our tests. If we wanted to uh, adjust certain settings for certain tests that we're building, we can do that as well. There's a lot of information about that in PHP unit. It's unlikely that you're always going to need to do that. But in this case, I'm just saying this is a test and now I've defined my own way of writing this out. So let's go over, run this again, and we can see that now instead of six tests, we get seven tests and 11 assertions. This is now being run uh, with our new structure. So we can do this for all of them. I'm not going to, I'll let you decide what's best for you. I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it. It just really depends on how you feel comfortable writing these out. Obviously we, we, here we have the addition of a, a doc block. So for some people I know that I've spoken to, this uh, is a little bit messier, but it's entirely up to you. So now that we've done that, we're going to quickly move on to the next part and look at how we can clear up the newing up of a user model using the PHP unit setup method. And we'll talk a little bit about how this is working behind the scenes. And it may be something that you want to use going forward. So let's move on to that. And then later, we're going to look at testing some more mini projects and uh, things will start to get uh, a little bit more interesting.